June 1780, the rioters take to the streets. One after another, new fires blazed up in every quarter of the town, as though it were the intention of the insurgents to wrap the city in a circle of flame. The setting, the worst and most destructive urban riots ever to hit the United Kingdom. The story, Barnaby Rudge, a simpleton, has his world turned upside down in a little over a week as the disorder uncovers disturbing secrets from his past. The themes, murder, forbidden love, relentless pursuit of justice, retribution and redemption. In 2012, we marked the bicentennial of the birth of Charles Dickens, one of the world's most celebrated writers. His works have been adapted in almost every conceivable medium, but at least one novel has been relatively neglected. Until now. now we have the Barnaby Rudge is an epic tale set against the Gordon riots of 1780, an uprising fueled by anti-Catholic animosity. The story is brought to life as a new, sung through musical by composer Bill Scott and myself, and with a symphonic score in which the musical themes are integrated into the drama. In two acts, and at a little over two and a quarter hours long, Barnaby Rudge includes many new songs, as well as a dynamic recitative that gives the unfolding story its pace and vibrancy. With a large cast of 16 principals, half a dozen smaller singing parts, and a very busy chorus, the musical is an ideal choice for musical theatre companies, light opera societies, and secondary schools, where participation and inclusion are priorities. There is a good age range, with parts for younger adult performers, but also an extensive representation of middle-aged characters. Is it a sunrod? Is it a dream? Is it a shadow? Is it a beam? You need to tell someone why not me? Wanna be? The musical accompaniment can be facilitated easily by a small band with two keyboards, bass and percussion making for economical, yet full, orchestration. Exploit your little eccentricities, Barnaby. You are incapable of subtlety. In this harsh world, your vulnerability may leave you open to duplicity. At its premiere in the Spa Theatre Scarborough in March 2009, Barnaby Rudge received outstanding plaudits, not only in the media, but from professionals and Dickens experts. This is a devil's pact. This is a devil's pact. And we'll pay the toll. We'll pay the toll. No time for brooding. No time for brooding. On the rights or wrongs. On the rights or wrongs, this, this is, a, is devil's a devil's pact, pact. To, to hell, hell it belongs. belongs. Oh, let from that bell. It sounds exciting. We sell it to my ears. I swear it's all it comes from hell. In my soul we dread for two and spirits. This is a musical that will thrill and excite with its action, its characterization, and its pathos. In the forms of the stalwart locksmith, Gabriel Varma, and the somber Catholic, Geoffrey Haredale, we find its unlikely heroes. Fathers and sons quarrel and part in anger. 
The unscrupulous Gashford recruits the ghastly hanger, Ned Dennis, and the violent half-gypsy, Maypole Hill, to lead the notorious London mob in its wild rampage. In the background, the perfidious Sir John Chester connives and deceives, fully intent on the destruction of Maydale. While Barnaby is beguiled to join the writers, and is thrown headlong into the cataclysmic events that will lead him to his destiny in the Gold Jail, be it the gallows or salvation. Love that's all forgiving, that patiently endures, that always will bear with him, that charges and restores, defies all limitations, a love that This original musical is threaded with memorable songs, ranging from riotous refrains to moving ballads, and from black comic choruses to rousing eulogies as the mood changes scene by scene. This unique and uplifting musical is a welcome alternative to the standard catalogue of old favourites that figures so prominently in the repertoires of our musical theatre societies. It offers a fresh challenge to the thousands of performers who would thrive upon new parts in an original show. Working them off. Working them off. <laughs> Working them off. This is the first venture of Pure Chance Musicals, a company set up to create and market new musicals and to refresh the musical theatre environment. The worldwide amateur rights for this work are obtainable through Noda Limited. For licensing inquiries, email info at noda.org.uk or call 01733 865 790. Consciousnesses recharges every part. Its columns and its circles, its steeples and its domes, its vital animation. My living.